in this session, I would like to ask your opinion on uh, what is your personal story in contributing to the energy transition as to, as a woman? Um, thank you, Monica. Um, my career began with Energy Commission 19 years ago. I was with Electricity Supply Department in charge of Renewable Energy Licensing Program. At that time, um, Renewable Energy in Malaysia has just started, so we improved the policy to make it workable like today. Then in 2009, I was transferred to Demand Site Management uh, to spur energy efficiency program in Malaysia. Uh, from there, I found my passion uh, is in uh, standards and labeling for electrical appliances. Uh, we started the volunteer labeling program in 2009 with only five appliances and we, could, we make it mandatory by doing the amendments to the current law. Uh, the new provision uh, to enable minimum energy performance standards or MAPS and energy labeling was enacted in 2013. And starting from there, uh, we add more appliances to the list and review the existing rating regularly. Now we have eight energy efficient uh, appliances and coming soon, we are going to add one more to join the bandwagon. I was involved in the entire process uh, from developing the criteria, amending the regulations, setting the benchmark to implement and in enhance the, the current rate of the current ratings. I also involved in energy transition in program in ASEAN. Uh, I'm proud to be part of uh, sharing my experience and knowledge with other ASEAN member states. It was a very remarkable journey and I enjoyed so much. Oh, okay, thank you, Madam Hafiza, for your uh, sharing. Uh, next, uh, I would like to elaborate more. Uh, how could a woman uh, like you overcome the challenges like you are working in male dem dominated working environment in energy sector how 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 do you overcome it uh okay um yes energy sector is a, a well-known male dominated um uh, area so as a woman we should be brave enough to take the challenge Knowing that this is male-dominated industry, so we have to equip ourselves with knowledge, get as much as info, even if it's not related to what we are doing now. We don't know, maybe one day the, the info might be useful. So don't be shy. If you don't ask, uh, if you don't know, ask the experts. Don't shy for, or frightened to speak your opinion. Discuss it to get more exposure from the, uh, from the experienced people. We have to prove to the world that we, women, are also good as good as men. Yeah, I also agree with you that uh, we have to be brave as a woman, although we are the minority and yeah, although it's difficult, yeah, you are like uh, sharing that we should be brave and yeah, take the lead instead of waiting. I agree with you. Thank you for sharing. So uh, the next, uh, uh, regarding the uh, the policy, uh, do you think that the gender equality has been integrated well in the, for example, in Malaysia's uh, energy policy or in the country's uh, NDC? If yes, how? Um, okay, um, yes, I can say that gender equality has been integrated well in Malaysia. So far, I can say uh, it's also implemented well in my organization. We've been given fair uh, treatment and uh, opportunity, same with the gentlemen. In fact, half of our top management is empowered by women. Uh, for, the five, uh, for the past five years, energy sector in Ministry of Energy and Natural Resources, uh, kept, uh, or before this known as Ministry of Energy, uh, green technology and water is leading by women. So as you know, our Deputy uh, Secretary General Energy is Madam Noor Afifah Abu Razak. And before that, it was led, uh, it was led by Yang Berbahagia Datuk Badra Haji Abdul Malik. So uh, in the government sector, we can see now a lot of high profile position was given to women to lead. For example, the nearest example is our Secretary General of Ministry uh, of energy and natural resources, Yang Berbahagia Datuk Zerina Binti Pak Wanteh. 
and there are few ministry also led by women and uh one more example our head of jury um in malaysia now is led by women uh leading the energy sector which normally dominated by men is a very big challenge but we've proved that women also uh can perform as good as gentlemen uh the glass ceiling has been broken by women empowerment yeah yeah i also agree with you uh in i mean malaysia in my op- personal opinion like uh, the base case in asean one of the base case in asean that have included a woman in like high level management and also empowering uh, the woman to participate more and act more in the energy sector. 